when I taught you personal transformation, we discussed something called the graph of life. Hallelujah. And in that graph, my, my goal, please listen everyone because this applies. The whole journey of a man's life is like a graph and it can be broken into four different phases hallelujah and we call the first stage the morning stage or the learning stage hallelujah and we put this to be the first 25 years of your life and we call the second stage the ending stage or the investment stage and that takes up the second 25 years of your life hallelujah and that that is the peak of your life the peak of your youthfulness and we call the third stage the stage of legacy the evening stage the third 25 years of your life and the last stage we call it rest the last 25 years of your life are you listening to me please everybody listen young or old this is very important and we taught the students that every man's life is broken into these four phases. What that means is that there is a season of your life when you should be preparing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. That means he took advantage of certain Kairos seasons in his life to build to equip the morning stage of every man's life is when you get knowledge that is the time when you can make mistakes and go scot free how many of you have seen a learner driving if he makes mistake you don't insult him because there is a big l behind his car this is the morning stage this is where a lot of us can make mistakes it's like a baby trying to walk this is where many of us may delay may waste time and do a number of things listen to me if at age 25 you are still trying to learn the basic principles that are required for life for godliness still trying to pursue your education still trying to do everything you are already behind time are you getting my point now whether you believe it or not is irrelevant hallelujah once you are past 25 years whether you are prepared or not you enter the second stage of your life and it is expected that at this ending stage you begin to put to use all of the knowledge all of the information the revelation the associations and the friendships that you have built are you getting my point now all of the friends you have made the destiny helpers you have made all the people the mentors around your life all of the information your days of prayer and fasting and kingdom building at this level this is the level where you have the opportunity to get married you have the opportunity to raise and train another generation hallelujah it is at this stage you are talking of building your house if you build a house at age 70 there is nothing honorable about it are you getting my point if you buy a car at age 70 it is 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 not thanksgiving that's a lot of sorrow hallelujah lamentations 327 please but i want to challenge someone tonight because there are some of us that need to wake up there are many of us who are playing around with our lives and allowing society to convince us that we are young hallelujah lamentations 327 is projected can we read everyone want to read one more time one more time All right, put your name there where there is a man. One to read. The Bible says it is good for a man to bear his yoke. When? Because the glory of young people is their strength. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means that 
there are seasons in your life when the heavens are unusually open for you to accomplish certain things you can stay awake through the night studying and building this is when you can make good friends because not everybody has achieved that level of success that causes the deceitfulness of riches so you can edit the people in your life and build quality relationships and then you get into the second stage of your life and that stage is the ending stage if you are in ministry that is when you will do kingdom exploits that is when you will do great things for the kingdom hallelujah that's when you raise and train your children that's when you build them in the fear of the lord it's at that stage you are supposed to wave goodbye to certain things poverty childishness a life of sorrow and begging certain things should leave your life at that stage and then you get into the third stage of your life the evening stage at that level you are supposed to turn back and begin to mentor and give back to the generation that is the season of legacy are you listening to me that's when you should be building the institutes that when you should be building the libraries that when you should you should build schools and and mentor the younger generation that's when you should go into massive production of books documenting your persuasions for the next generation to study hallelujah but there are so many people who physically they are already in the third season of their life but in reality it is at that level they are now trying to learn the principles of the kingdom hallelujah and the bible says it this way it says teach us to number our days teach us to take cognizance teach us to take advantage and give maximize the opportunity for every day because he said the days are evil hallelujah are you following what i'm saying there are many of us right now inside and outside probably some of us just strolled here carelessly this night we are just playing around with our destiny playing all kinds of gimmicks with our lives bad associations bad friends watching all kinds of things wasting away our destinies the bible says awake thou that sleepest and christ will give you light there are a number of parents in this place and i want to challenge you don't let your children just live their lives the way they just want and say it's all right they will end up being a liability to you in old age there is a saying in my in my place it says a donkey gives birth to his child so that it will rest hallelujah if a man at age 70 having children who are over 30 years matured man matured woman there are some of you even in your 30s you are still staying in your parents house getting up in the morning and insulting them and say you didn't give me two thousand pop see how far you are not ashamed of it you have entered the second phase of your life hallelujah and we laugh at it they call the guy a big boy or they call the lady this there are lots of ladies now you are young this is the time to build become a virtuous woman this is the time to pay the price and not keep flaunting around every married man just comes every tom dick and harry comes and picks you travels around you may be speaking in tongues but it's time to settle down playing all kinds of gimmicks with every guy coming i have 10 guys who like me wait and see how many of them will marry you by the time you are in your 30s all the people who would have married you are already married and the graph begins to bend you are entering the third phase of your life whether you believe it or not is irrelevant hallelujah you don't want to use your pension to train your firstborn i'm challenging you 
there are many of us who we are not just serious tonight god is talking to certain people and i'm taking it very personal with the gentleman because you are the one who will be the head of the home there are many of us you don't know you are growing old you are shaving every week and you can't read the handwriting on the wall hallelujah please take it serious i, I really am not laughing tonight this was the burden this has been my contemplation pastor personal i hate irresponsibility and laziness hallelujah there are many of us you are not doing anything about your finances you're not doing anything about your life we still play around as big as you are your whole vision is to buy a trainers your whole vision is to play computer game what kind of life is that All the brothers tell yourself wake up shout it wake up mm. i want you to preach it to yourself because this night even as we graduate these students this is a message i know that god is talking to some of you some of you are playing around with what i'm saying but there are some of you who are sitting down and they are saying lord talk to me i'm tired of childishness the bible says when i was a child i will never I will never allow any irresponsible man to marry my daughter. If I'm a father, no way. You just come around strolling with your, your sad jeans and all kinds of chain and a very stupid haircut that already describes your ideology. And you bounce into the house and sit down and greet the father as if it's your mate. You say, um, I, I have seen a flower in your house. Go back. It's not a gardener. All kinds of things happening in our society. There must come a time in every man's life where you preach to yourself. You must become the prophet of your own life and lock the door and say, wake up. Joshua Selman, wake up. Let me tell you something in life. Time has a way of humbling any arrogant person who doesn't listen. Time. Time. You can fight people, but you can't fight time. Time will gradually bend you till you kneel down. Hallelujah. I want to ask you a question. Look at yourself and backtrack 10 years before now. Can you look at your life today and say you have made structural improvements and advancement with your life? There are many of us, the only advancement is the birthdays you have been celebrating. You still have the same ideology. In fact, there's more trouble in your life now than there was 10 years ago. Because you are not listening. Some of us, it starts from our relationship with God. There are a number of people listening to me, we are just not serious. You go to church, you do everything. And to you, it looks like it's not a serious thing. And you want to get married. What will you do when your child is sick and there's no doctor to take care of the person? Hallelujah. What will you do when, God forbid, but something wrong like Job happens? You want to be a man. You want to be the head of your home. You want to be the priest of the house. And you are still playing gimmicks and childishness. Let me tell you the truth. When you stand to be married nothing really changes the same person who was misbehaving is just that you are a bunch of history on suit and once they finish you go back into your different mindsets brothers i'm talking to you tonight and god is speaking to you the gentleman came where is he stand up that the writer at his level in life look at the remarkable accomplishments that he has made we call that focus it's not magic let me tell you, as many as people are in, in this place, I have the opportunity and the privilege of knowing a few people personally. And I know that there are people who are visionaries. But there are some of you, even a notebook to evaluate your life, you don't have. One notebook to evaluate your life. You've never gone for a retreat to lock the door and sit down. No video games, no nothing sit down and tell yourself where am i going some of us came from families where we suffered some of us while you were in school you had to pay your school fees by yourself some of us are still paying our school fees is that the kind of heritage you want to give your children 
Hallelujah. It's time to wake up tonight. Because God gave you the gift of time. Whatever you do with that time will determine your destiny. I refuse to be a failure in life. I will pay the price now. I will cry now. No matter what it will take. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have.